All caution to you. A reflection of you. Hiking today. Check that out. By a little stream, brook, crag, whatever you'd like to call it. Nonetheless, a flowing body of water. And the spring is really in full bloom here. Beautiful, beautiful day. Got some little flowers. Check them out. Appreciating all the little flowers for being beautiful. Meanwhile, we continue forward. I love being out in nature. And the reason is because I feel like I was only really created for nature. Right, like I understand how to navigate all of these little trails and yes, granted, they're publicly like there's the parks commission that kind of maintains them and, and makes sure that we are able to access them. Yet at the same time, I also have this level of intelligence to be able to figure out, oh, okay, we can go walk around this way and there's kind of a path over here and, and so on and so forth. I love being in nature because I love the color green. There's something about the color green. And we're actually, fun fact, we can see the color green better than we can see any other color in the rainbow. Not sure if you knew that or not, but makes complete sense. And why? It's important to be able to distinguish between trees or f flowers or uh, really any plant, I guess at the end of the day, as to if it's in good health or not. Because in some way, shape or form, we want to surround ourselves with plants that have a deeper, a richer green. And we tend to not really associate ourselves with those that look more of a sickly green. That's just a little theory right there. Again, remember, I'm an entertainer, so it is what it is. The air is so fresh. What do I mean by fresh air? It's that it's clean. It's almost like it's almost like the air is like the stream in the sense of the way it flows. That's what wind is, in, in my opinion, or that's how I see it, is that the clarity of the air comes from the amounts that it's moving. So there's really this, there's this concept that movement cleanses or, or by moving water, we know that water that's captured in, uh, like if you wanna get water and you're out in the wilderness, again, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure you can, like if there's a stream or something nearby, you can like get the, the part that's like moving because it's, it's more pure. Obviously you wanna take it from the top versus from the bottom. But anyways, very similarly like air as well, right? And I'm sure there's properties of fire that are like this and properties of earth, or perhaps they're not like it, but they, but earth and fire have their own very, like their similarities, you know? Perhaps it's like the groundedness of it, or I, I don't know, I don't know what it would be. I haven't studied earth and fire all too much yet. Need to review that chapter in, in Avatar for, for anyone who may you know Avatar The Last Airbender, have to go back through those chapters. The other cool thing about nature is that the environments can change so quickly. And we see this even in our own day and age, right? Like a few weeks ago, coronavirus was like not a thing at all. And now it's caused complete pandemonium. I wanted to use the word pandemonium at some points today. And there it was used. While I'm hiking around right now, I've got my little Whole Foods bag with all my juices to hydrate and, and drinks, beverages. Got some water, some coconut water, and some green juice. It's funny. Because I feel like, uh, I don't even know. This is a concept that's only in the 2020s where people go hiking and they bring a Whole Foods bag with them some such thing. I'm sure it's probably not true. Well, it's probably true because they didn't have Whole Foods back in other eras. So like, as I'm walking around, I'm recognizing that I'm such a product of my time 
and all the times that came before me, right? It's like, sometimes I look at myself and I kind of giggle maniacally. No, I'm kidding around. I just laugh to myself because it's cool to, or it's, it's just funny to me to see how I've turned out myself or how I continue to turn out every single moment, how I continue to spend this time, how I continue to create beauty and appreciate nature. I love it. Keep up, thrive, stay sexy.